Hello, how are you doing? So today in this video, I'm going to be sharing my experience of being completely off the grid for 10 months already. I feel super amazing about it because self-sustainability is one of my goals of life. I want to grow all the food that I eat. I want to have the water from the land that I'm living in and also have electricity from the sun or from the wind, from the nature. One of these goals I've already achieved and I'm so happy about it and I want to share my experience so that if you are looking to go be self-sustainable or move into solar power or use it as a backup instead of generator or diesel, you can learn from my experience. There are two ways of going about with the purchase. Number one is you can specifically buy the parts that are involved in the system from Amazon or you can buy it from one seller. Now what are the parts that you need for a running solar system? We actually set it up ourselves so I have quite a bit of information and experience of how to set it up and what are the parts that you need. Number one is the solar panel. Number two is charger controller that would take the energy from the sun from the panel convert it so that it can be stored in your battery so yes you need a battery as well and if you're looking to change the voltage you need one inverter so these are the four things that you need the strength of your system is of course dependent on your usage before we had a one kilowatt system and now we have a 100 watt system and with this you know if you don't have a lot of uh, use if you're living a simple life you can easily go through even when it's raining and it's cloudy the system charges so i'm living in the mountains and it's like you know it's going full power even with like three four days of cyclones i have enough charge of course it's not like i'm able to you know enjoy all the conveniences but the bit that i need is there for example my phone is charged my laptop i can charge and if you go to the nearby village actually they don't have electricity and we have full power electricity all the time on a sunny day you can use all the appliances of course you have to have a bigger system for it you can use washing machine juicer mixer grinder these are the things that come to my mind but if you are not somebody who has a very fancy living you can completely go solar power even with small systems and if you need probably a bigger system you can get it of course it requires a lot of uh, patience for example we are not using it a lot when it's completely rainy so you have to think through it but it depends what is it that you want to bring in the world if you want to bring more self-sustainability and probably lower footprint on the environment i think you can go for it and this can be a step you can use it partially you don't have to completely use it all the time um, yes i think this is from my experience it's been incredible because it fulfills my soul this is something that i would like to have especially during the times of coronavirus it's been a great journey for me because it serves my soul and my spirit at a ta do do too okay this is all what i want to share if you have any questions please do put in the comments below i would love to answer them and if you've reached to the end of this video, please comment strawberry in the comment section below. I would love to know. And also, if you haven't liked the video, please do like it if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't. I love you. Have a wonderful day.